Hey, it's Klaus, your host of the E-Commerce Coffee Break podcast. This is a video-only episode, so it will not be available on the audio channels. And that is for a very simple reason. I will do a Shopify theme review. I have done these in the past, long time ago. I haven't done one for quite some time. But I have been approached by the guys of Chrome Themes. They are Shopify developers, theme developers, and they asked me to check out their new Borders theme, which I will do in this video. And therefore, it's a pure video, obviously. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. So let's dive right into the Borders theme. So here we are in the Shopify theme store and looking at the page of Borders by Chrome Themes. Today we want to look at the edition, the raw edition within Borders. So that's just one of a number of styles that come included in the theme. But before we go into the demo store with the link here, I just want to have a quick look at the features of the raw theme or of the Borders theme. So right now you can see it supports different languages. Um, it has an age verifier. So if you're selling something like alcohol, for instance, you want to use that. It supports color swatches, which is great if you're selling apparel. A quick view, stock counter, and more features. If you scroll down on the page, you will see there is, for instance, um, that a parallax vertical sliders included and um, we will dive into this while we're going into the demo store um, something i really like in this theme and um, let's just go through the features down here so generally what they're saying the theme is great for content editorial content visual storytelling and supports a quick setup now for the card checkout, you have a slide out card, so a slider card, which usually has the highest conversion rates. So that's a good one. Um, gift wrapping, pre-order, quick buy card notes. That's basically all standard things. Already talking about the age verifier. So then the feature of being able to cross sell, which will help you with increasing your average order value. So that's a good one. Contact form translations we already had. Then we had the usual st stuff here in menu promos, promo banners, recently views, press coverage. So there's nothing really standing out here. In merchandising, so they support animation, which can be good if this is something that connects with your audience. Um, I always would say keep it as easy and um, try to avoid distractions so that people really focus on the customer journey and um, really get be taken from one step to another without too much distraction so if you're using animations um, be careful with it and only use it where it makes sense i have resolution images image galleries um, most of that very important when it comes to product detail page rollovers zoom lookbooks production options so a lot of standard things in here back up um, back to top button mega menu so we'll have a look at the mega menu that can be quite helpful if you really have a lot of collections and categories and you need to structure your menu in a way that people can find their way through the website quite quickly collection page navigation enhanced search that's always a good thing so you want to make sure that people have a good search feature on the website most people that use search in a website convert higher than somebody who's just clicking from one page to another so always keep in mind you want to have a good search feature in a theme on a store and then stores using borders so there's a couple of examples here of stores that are already using this theme so you want to go there and ha have a look later on quite importantly here's an unlimited free trial so if you already have a shopify store you can just download the the theme and play around with it in the preview feature of shopify and only when you activate this as your theme in your store then you will be charged um, so this gives you a good opportunity to just check out the theme with all the features and be 100 percent sure before you take out your credit card that this is the theme you want to work with uh, latest shopify features be tested obviously quite important you want to have a fast theme there and um, so yeah that looks all good so now let's go go over to the demo store and see how that looks like so i click here and then it will take me over to the demo store 
And once the demo store is open, you will see here with this team theme styles, there are different versions there. So you have raw objects, black folio and art. I have not checked any of them. So that's the, literally the first time that I'm seeing the theme in front of me. And I think it has a very modern, straightforward, very clean look to it. That's something I personally like. This is just my style. So we scroll down here and you see here we get a couple of overlays so this is a very modern style when it comes to themes for shopify and obviously they are focused on a very specific audience customer group so you need to keep this in mind when you're picking your theme is that something that your customers will understand and will be able to handle so let's start from the top and then simply go step by step down so up here, a very clean black on white logo, uh, which should be easy for you to put something in here. Most stores have a logo that has sort of a landscape style. If not, obviously you need to create something like this, but obviously it makes it very, very clear what this store brand's name is. Then the, and this, this is very important, the navigation, um, very clear here. Uh, you should not put too many navigation items in there. So I think this one is actually quite informal. You have a shop here, probably if I go down here, it's a mega menu. And when I say mega, it is mega. You see here, these things are really big and takes you directly to the main categories. And then they have some products highlighted here, which then takes you directly to these products. So that's something I like. I like the, the overview, the look, the style of this whole thing. Um, it's hard to miss something here. I think that's um, the outcome for me here is it takes you directly to the things that you want to sell. And always keep in mind, you want to take your customer on the customer journey and help them step by step to find what they're looking for in the best, best possible way. Highlighting here new arrivals and then about the brand contact and news. So obviously you can play around with that in the back end, whatever you want to have here. As I said, I would not recommend to have more than five to seven menu items here and the rest then is easily um, structured with the mega menu. Language selector directly integrated here, specifically important if you're selling internationally. That makes sense. And it's nice that it's integrated right into the theme that you don't need to have a, another app or plugin or custom coded um, add on to your site. Um, so it really put, puts it nicely in here. And then you can either choose between just having the abbreviation or having a language tag here. So that makes perfectly sense. And then also it adjust the currency in the back end to whatever you have chosen here. Then we have the search here. Let's go on that one. So this is actually quite nicely done here. So it's a slide out. We have the search directly here. And then <clears throat> you have some ideas coming here what popular searches are. Something I usually would recommend, um, either have it directly as an idea in the search field itself, but also this works quite nicely and I reckon it takes you directly to the collection page, to the category page. Let's go back to the home page and obviously we have the card here and that's where it should be. It should be in the top right hand corner. That's where people are looking for. Now, with this kind of slideshow, what I have here, um, this is actually quite nice style. Um, it comes when you scroll down, you see a lot of slideshows, which are literally slideshows, and they're sort of useless. No one ever waits for the next slide to load. And usually they also delay the load time of the page itself. So you want to make sure that obviously your site speed is on top which helps with Google ranking with user experience and so on and so forth. And here, they basically took both of the best of both worlds. So it loads fast. And with the slideshow here, basically it's just slides down into the next one. So they have three in here. I wouldn't go for more than three, but it's literally a very good way to highlight specific products. And also I would always highlight for your brand, the value proposition. So why should somebody buy from you? On that down here, we have this little moving um, animation, which 
is already showing one benefit for you as a potential customer buying from this brand. It's free shipping today. So this definitely creates some scarcity or some urgency. If I buy today, I get free shipping. So going down here, an overview of featured products, which is also best um, practice to do so. Um, I wouldn't put more than six or eight in here. So that's a little bit too many for me. But again, this is just a demo. You can put that or change that in the back end. And then highlighted here the different, and that's kind of interesting here, um, the different collections. So if you move over it, you see this image changes. Um, a little bit too gimmicky for me, but it might work for certain brands. Definitely very visual when it comes to how to understand what you can expect when you click on this. And you should always be very fast forward. It's like what's happening next. So for people who are more visual, and we all know that people do not read nowadays, um, it might actually help to have this mouse over there. Another couple of highlighted elements here, products here, and then they come here with a little bit more about us. And this, I think, will just highlight you the different sections that you can put on the homepage. I would not recommend to put that many on there. Obviously, you want to have your testimonials on the homepage. They build trust. Um, there's more trust building elements that you can use there, but having testimonials reviews always helps. And then down here, call to action to um, leave your email address for a newsletter. And you can see here also this builds trust, it's just some elements down here that give a background about the organization, about the brand and um, what they stand for. And then you can have a sort of very wild here um, slideshow only on products. And then in the footer down here, we'll see the usual elements, basically your social media, uh, quick links back to the categories and so on and so forth. So overall, I think this demo store um, shows a lot of different versions on how you can present products and content there. Um, not saying that you need to put all of that on your homepage. Um, I think less is more and the homepage should basically do just three things. It should inform about the brand, who you are, what you stand for, what your unique value proposition is. It should take um, build up trust with your brand which you do with trust building elements as we saw with the testimonials and so on and so forth and then finally it should take people in the best possible way to the product that they are looking for so either directly to collections and category links which i think is very done well here with highlighted products um, or just by a search feature so let's go down one level in the customer journey and go into a collection page and see how that looks on the raw theme. And I like that a lot. So it's not as crazy as on the homepage. Again, it's a showcase on the homepage, shows everything that they can do with, that you can do with the theme. Um, this looks very clean. So what we have here is we can sort by best selling. The typical thing, price low to high or to date, um, this is best case scenario. This is what most stores do. And also from the layout, that's what a visitor of your site, a potential customer will look for. So they usually look for a sort feature. Um, what people sort most for is obviously by price. And then we have here a sort feature by the product. So let's see if we can sort by product. That's nicely done. We can sort by price, availability, um, where I would recommend to have mainly only available products on your store. With out of stock stores, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, but yeah, mainly you want to have available products. Well, that's what we have here. Um, size, obviously, for fashion stores, for clothing, very, very important. And then material. So this is very good. I think these obviously will dynamically update depending on what your store is about. Means if you have other features for your products, then this back end here will be adjusted according to whatever you sell. Now, coming from a fashion store. Let's see, we have two light green ones here. So if I click this, it updates immediately. So it's dynamic, uh, which is great and was very fast. And it shows me only the products that fall into this collection. 
plus a additional one here, as you can see, which highlights again, another product that you want to just showcase. Um, and then obviously the size here, and it should be the same. Obviously t-shirts should be available in all sizes. So generally speaking, the collection page, I like a lot, looks pretty clean, straightforward. Mouse over here so that you know where you are. And also in the overview here, you have all the important bits and pieces that you want to see if when you're interested on a, in, in a specific product on a collection page. So you immediately see here, this one is discounted. It has five star reviews. We have the price. We have the former price. Not sure, I'm not percent sure what that stands for, but I think you can adjust these depending on the product. Obviously, this one here, C, uh, uh, a little bit difficult. C has also stars down there. So if you can adjust all of these in the in the back end, um, I think this is very nicely done. There's a lot of themes. These features are only come with additional apps, and then you know things can break, or you need to custom code it or whatever. So with the border raw theme, it seems to be already integrated in here, which is very nice. So let's go to the product page. So the 300 pound gorilla in the e-commerce store and see how that looks like now this is the most important page on your store this is where people make a buyer's decision a decision to either order or leave your store again let's start from top to bottom so the image gallery here and i'm sure you can change these in the back end so you have your different vari variations of your product here showcasing on a um person or as you want to sh always see it on a person if you run a fashion and apparel store uh, highlighting some details on the product and if i click here i can even see it bigger so there's a zoom feature in there zoom feature you always need to decide if that is something you want to have so Starting from top to buttons, obviously we have the product name, the regular t-shirt, we have the reviews, we have the pricing here, and we have a quick overview of the features, the main features of the product. So I like that a lot, um, specifically on how it is um, layouted here. So it's really big to see what it is. Um, you have that, definitely all the information here in this kind of buyer's box. And you go in here and then you get more features there. Um, so that's that's nice and it's not overwhelming. You see it when you, you need it. And then you have your size selector here, your color selector here. A little bit of um, fear of missing out here. So low stock, only four products left. Um, also something that's integrated into this theme here, which is great. Um, so you don't need to have an additional app um, to show this feature here. You have your quantity selector here and then add to cart and buy it now. So this is something that you can debate. I'm not the biggest fan of having two call to actions. So buy it now stands out. If you have a store where people as an average only buy one product, then usually I would recommend to have buy it now to get them in the fastest possible way to the checkout page. If you have a store where people buy as an average more than one product then i would recommend to have taking them to the cart something you need to find out for your business for your store uh, but generally speaking i would recommend to have only one button here so they have two i'm not sure if you can change that in the back end so we'll find this out then you have some social media links here then your reviews so no there, there's no reviews here apparently we cannot see the reviews it says two reviews here um, not sure why I can't see them here. Let's see. Um, usually they should show up here down there and then you have related products down here. So that's nicely done. I think the, the product page looks very straightforward. It has the right structure for a, a product. Even it, it looks very modern, very, but it's not overwhelming and it follows the best case scenario or the best example on how to structure a page. So this is what people are used when they shop online and makes perfect sense. So let's go for a t-shirt here and then add to the card because I want to see the card itself. So we have a slide out card here. Nothing wrong with the slide out card. So which is nicely done up here is it shows you that you're only away $60 from free shipping, which is great. So because that will 
trigger people to add more items to the cart and increase your average order value. So definitely something that's nicely done here. And then we have the products in here. And then it also recommends potentially another product here. And you can have order instructions here. So all of these things um, look quite good. And then I'm not sure why we have view card here. Possibly this takes us to a traditional card page as a second option. So that's good to see. I would only have one button there because if they have a slide out card, you don't necessarily need to go to the card page unless you want to have people that they estimate their shipping. Not a live store, won't see the checkout page here, but I said, it is a standard checkout page. Um, I wouldn't expect anything different there unless you are on a plus plan where you can do a lot of customization. I know with the actual one, you can also do a certain degree of customization, um, but usually the checkout page is in the hands of Shopify and not of the theme developer. So that looks all good. Um, I, I thought, I think this gives a good overview of what your brand can represent on this theme and i want to dive into the back end now and see how you can administer the border theme with the raw edition so we are in my shopify partner account now where i have installed the borders theme to my demo store the first thing we want to do is when we're in a demo store and have installed the theme and you can do that in your store as well so you can download a free trial of the borders theme into your own store does not need to be activated just keep it as preview and then the first thing you want to do is you want to go into the settings and in the settings we want to change the theme style so we want to look at the raw version and then refresh the whole thing so just making sure we are looking at the right theme style that we have here so we go in there and then you see this has changed here we can do a couple of changes here on germany international whatever you want to have leave it as it is and we're going to start here with having a look on the home page so as for the home page you see here we have the slideshow as we saw it before as we saw it earlier in the demo store um, we have another slider here we have the featured products and these are all the elements that we saw before in the demo store different order here obviously you can move them around as you like and you don't need to have them all so you can take of whatever you want to have they have put in here pretty much everything we saw before which makes it easier because Taking things away usually is easier than adding things. And here you start with the whole overview. And then you can start assigning your typography, um, your content that you want to have here. You can start um, creating your menu and so on and so forth. So if you have been in the back end of your theme store, obviously you know this. Um, you want to play with the sections, as I said here. That should be, I think, the first thing you want to do is get a good idea of what kind of sections you want to have on the home page, and then start working your way through um, and going step by step through each section. So if we're going, for instance, here, we have the collection list here. You want to make sure that you have your best selling collections in the order of revenue generated um, right here means you see, uh, as, as we did before, um, just having your section there and then link this part to the right section you want to have. And then you start from the top with the one that makes you the most money. And then you go down step by step. So there's a bit of conversion rate optimization because you want to bring people to products, to collections that have been proven that they um, these products sell quite nicely. Yeah, we have the scrolling text. So this is the part up here, which you can change. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of scrolling text. You don't need necessarily to delete it. You can just go here and then um, it will not be shown on your, your site. You see now it, um, it's, it's disappearing. Is it? Is that the one? Oh, I reckon it is. So we have other products here going down here testimonials obviously very important so you want to work on your testimonials you see you just click on here and then on the right hand side you find the part where you can edit them so 
basically the same way as it works in every Shopify theme 2.0. Um, very easy, very straightforward. Let's go to a product page and see how it's there. So we have a default product page here. We have a product assigned. Again, this is my demo store. So I, we have a, a purse there and then it's easy to work on something that already has live data in there. So that makes it much, much easier for you to understand what's really happening on your store. So all of this works. We see here a different layout, slightly different layout to the image overview, product overview here. And again, you just click here and then you can edit everything on a theme level um, for your store. Let's go down and have a look at the collections. Let's see how that works. Again, here assigned products from the store itself. There's only one product in there, so that's very easy. But you can see here already, um, it only assigns here availability and price because that's what I have in my store. So there is no sizes, for instance, as we saw in the apparel store. So very straightforward. And then obviously you have your additional pages here. You have your blog, um, your 404 page. Um, potentially you will have pages, FAQ pages. You will have your privacy and so on and so forth. So that comes all on these pages. Um, very straightforward. So yeah, there's not much on Visitry here in, in the back end. I think the theme, as I said in the beginning, um, looks very modern, very straightforward. Um, I like that a lot. Let's see what kind of apps that they have. So they have one in here. This is, would be ordering, or which immediately can add with one click is having your store in different languages. Also, if you're selling internationally, that's something you want to look into and um, potentially add from scratch so that you don't need to do that at a later point of time. Yeah, that look, looks all good. Um, I like the theme a lot. So if you're interested in trying the theme out for yourself, I will put the links in the show notes. So under the video and in, in the description, you will find a link It goes to themes, shopify.com themes, borders, style, raw, and then preview. And then you can either have the preview or install it in your store as a preview and play around with it and get a feeling if this theme works for you or not. So this is a premium theme. Obviously you have to pay it, um, pay for it when you want to buy it. It's not very expensive, I must say, for what you get. And um, if you have any questions about this theme, don't reach out to me, reach out to the guys, the developers themselves. So Crown is the company. You can reach them directly on the demo store website. And um, I also will put the link in the show notes that you can reach to them um, from the description page. I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for listening this time and I catch you in the next one.